Where did this come from? Who is this? Am I gonna be doing an unboxing on Grandma's cremated remains? Oh my God! Hey, how's it going, friends? I hope you are all enjoying this lovely weather. This is my favorite time of year. Oh my God, everything gets cold out and fabulous. And we get the ever wonderful and delicious pumpkin spice lattes. Oh, oh my God, so good. Today's video is a really strange, weird, fascinating story. It's the story of the weirdest thing that I have ever received in the mail. It's kind of crazy and it's kind of a long and complicated story because it has a lot of parts to go to it. So really this whole story begins a couple weeks before I receive this package, the, the package that's the feature in the story. I'm in this chat room and I'm talking with my friends and we, we get to talking about fursuit makers, you know, as you do as furries, you know, we talk about fursuit makers and a particular baker comes up. A baker who, let's just say, has a political ideology that is in direct opposition to my identity as a trans woman and the LGBT community in general. They're just, they're just not really that good of a person. And unfortunately, Chip and I have a fursuit head from this person that we, we owned years and years and years ago before we really do about what this person's, you know, like political beliefs were. So the conversation turns to me talking about, and I might add, jokingly talking about chucking the fursuit head on a bonfire and giving it a Viking funeral. No, this is not something that I'd actually do, but you know, like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try and explain the thought process behind this so you guys don't get the wrong idea here. The thing with fursuits is they kind of advertise the people that make them, right? Chip and I don't feel comfortable wearing that head anymore, and we wouldn't feel comfortable selling it or giving it away for the same reasons. Essentially, when you're wearing these suits, you know, you are advertising for the person that made that suit as much as you're being yourself. So it's kind of one of those things that it's just like, well, we don't know what to do with it. It's just, it's sitting up in our closet gathering dust. So we finish up this conversation in the chat and a couple weeks go by and I receive this package. It's, it's still like the weirdest thing to me. Just like this, this part freaked me out. I, I open up the door and there's this package on the porch and it's this box that says cremated remains. I'm like, what? Who sends cremated remains in the mail? Where did this come from? Who is this? Is this somebody's cremated remains? Am I gonna be doing an unboxing on grandma's cremated remains? Who died? What, what is going on? Did somebody accidentally send this to my house? I have all these questions and I'm just trying to figure out what is going on. And I'm trying to like look through it all too. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess, I guess we better open it up. I think it's important to note here too that the only people that have my home address are my friends and my family. So I open up this box and I'm, I'm half expecting to see a little jar full of ashes or something. And instead I find a roll of stickers and <laughs> it's a roll of the same sticker that's on the box. It, it says cremated remains. Like it's literally a USPS sticker that just says cremated remains. It's just sitting there and I'm like, okay, so now I have a roll of a hundred cremated remains stickers. Who sent this? And I'm trying to think about where this might have come from. And of course, my mind goes back to that conversation in that chat room. So I go back to the chat and I'm like, hey guys, uh, so I got this in the mail. Did one of you guys said this is a joke? You know, haha, ha, very funny. You know, just like, let me know. And everybody's like, no. No, I've never seen this before. Well, who would send that? That's so weird. That's creepy. That's so strange. And I'm just like, huh, okay. I'm starting to freak out a little bit because, you know, obviously this person has my home address and they sent me a roll of cremated remains stickers. Is this a veiled threat? Is somebody like trying to threaten me? Is this like somebody saying, hey, Ash, we're gonna go burn down your house? You know, I, I know that sounds far-fetched, but we've received death threats and stuff before. So that that started to freak me out. I, I was kind of sitting there like, okay, this is, this is definitely on the side of weird. I reach out to my friend Beagle, who happens to do stuff with the USPS. And I'm like, hey, do you know anything about these stickers? They were sent to my house and he's like, no. This is where everything started to go haywire and I'm just like, oh, what is going on? So I snap a picture and I post it on Twitter and I'm like, hey guys, who sent me this? Could you just tell me, you know, like this is weird. This is a little creepy. This is freaking me out. And of course, you know, everybody agrees. And that tweet starts to get a lot of visibility. And then I get a message from Beagle. 
The United States Postal Service offers a wide variety of free shipping supplies for Priority Mail and Priority Mail Express services. Among those supplies, you can get a roll of 100 cremated remains stickers for your packages because sometimes you just have 100 cremated remains that you have to ship to your friends. So I have a particular friend named Ash and I figured cremated remains is basically just ashes. So what if I sent ashes to ashes? But since I didn't actually have cremated remains with me, I just sent her the free roll of 100 stickers of cremated remains to Ash's P.O. box because that was supposed to be funny. So a couple weeks later, I get a message from Ash just saying, did you ship cremated remains stickers to my house? And I was gonna say, yeah, that was me. Then I realized I didn't ship them to her house. I shipped them to your P.O. box. And I'm like, wait, you got these at your house? And she was like, yeah, they just showed up at my front door. I'm like, that was probably my package, but I didn't ship it to her house. So I'm gonna say, no, wasn't me. Cause P.O. box, not house, you know? Ash starts freaking out. She's like, okay, somebody is sending me cremated remains stickers and it, it might be a threat. And then she started tweeting out on Twitter a picture of the stickers and she was like, somebody's sending me cremated remains stickers. So I'm like, oh. So like after Ash started getting all worried, I started getting all anxious that I was making her anxious. So I was like, I was trying to tell her, I was like, yeah, um, I, I, did, I did a thing, but I don't know why they shipped it to your house instead of your P.O. box so they never give them your house address. So somebody has your house address, Ash. Ah, and then Ash starts freaking out more, and then we don't know why, but now we have a hundred cremated remain stickers to ship stuff with. So after Beagle kind of confesses all his sins to me, and he's like, oh yeah, I sent these, everything makes sense. And he explains to me that this was supposed to be a silly, ridiculous joke. Cremated remains are ashes, by name is Ash, ha ha ha, joke ashes, ash stickers. And I was like, oh, that's actually kind of funny. But this is a prime example of one of those jokes that can be completely taken out of context because unless you know like the whole context of everything going on, things just get wild, they just get weird. But oh my God, that was, that was one of the scariest, weirdest moments that I've ever had as a YouTuber, because I'm like, who found my house? So after talking to Beagle, Beagle explains to me that, hey, these stickers were sent to my P.O. box. He has no idea how they got to my house. And that's where I'm like, okay. And I start doing a little bit of research and I realize they did in fact go to my P.O. box, but they got forwarded to my house because of the cremated remains sticker. So, you know, like my P.O. box can forward to me. I think whoever just saw it was just like, oh, hey, this is probably important and just bumped it right over to me immediately. So that explained that part of the puzzle. I think this is gonna go down in history as one of those infamous beagle stories. Just like the Aquatifer bagel, we are going to have ash and the cremated remains. And this is just gonna be something that we laugh about for years to come. It's just, oh, oh my God, ridiculous. Love that boy, he's so silly. Okay guys, so first thing, don't forget to go subscribe to Beagle and Red. He's an amazing guy. Thank him for dropping by and telling this story with me. He's just so sweet. Oh my God, he's wonderful. YouTuber. Give him some love. Also, I want to hear from you. What is the weirdest, weirdest, strangest thing that you have ever gotten in the mail? Tell me about it. I, you know, I'm sure you guys have some stories. I'm sure you've been sent some weird stuff. Maybe not as weird as the stuff I've been sent, but oh my god, I'd love to hear about it. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you aren't already. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Goodbye!